What's going on guys? I want to make a somewhat short video here on an axe that I purchased. Got this from Lowe's. Um, you know, because of the fact that I like, you know, high-end cutlery and stuff, there's plenty of really nice axes out there and camp hatchets and all kinds of stuff. Um, just can't afford it. Uh, the Wetterlings, they're beautiful. You know, there's a lot of different companies out there that make really nice, uh, uh, like I said, hatchets and different axes. You know, that kind of deal. They're all beautiful though. But can't afford that right now. So I went and got a, this is actually a while ago, got a $30 axe from Lowe's and uh, just took my own stones to it to make it nice and sharp because they come dull as anything. <laughs> Don't want to curse or anything, but they're very dull uh, from the store. So you have to sharpen them yourself. And anyway, I got one with a synthetic handle as opposed to wood. Uh, I actually prefer that quite a bit. It flexes a lot more. Uh, it's less less uh, damage when you have overstrikes. And you can see here I wrapped it with duct tape as well. This is from overstrikes. Basically when you go to chop the wood, if you miss miss the, uh, the blade on the wood itself and you have it too far over, obviously it's going to smack on that handle and cause damage. Now with wood axes a lot of times they'll split. You know the axe uh, has a lot of problems. This synthetic is very good with it, but I still added duct tape and you can see it's a good thing I did because I still had a couple overstrikes. You know, I, I made chopped enough firewood for about seven fires now, but uh, I still have a whole lot of wood left that I have to process and I got to take advantage of the days even though it's freezing out right now. At least it's not uh, not snowing, so got to take advantage of the time when I can. Anyway, chopping some wood, thought I'd make this video because in my hatchet video, uh, I mentioned I didn't have an axe. And a lot of people said, why don't you make it easier on yourself and just get yourself an axe. And I did, and that's all. So I'm just chopping a little wood, thought I'd turn the camera on, bring you along for the ride. And we'll see how it does here after you sharpen it yourself. Does quite well. So this is a perfect piece for the fire. For my, my stove anyway. You know, once I get the fire going nice and hot. But I'll split this again, make it a little bit smaller. So I can use this for when I'm starting it. A lot of great suggestions, by the way, on uh, the wood. One person said, make myself a little sand pit. Uh, that's what he does. Uh, basically, just get a couple 2x4s, make a little box, and fill it with sand. So this way, when you put your logs in, they don't have to be flat. They could be jagged. They could be all screwed up. And it will actually hold up straight for you when you're chopping. Well, it's a great idea. Although, I don't have any sand or 2x4s to work with right now. So I basically have to kind of move the gravel around so that it stands on its own. But anyway, it's working out fine. And there we go. And from here, I can take my knife inside, baton just a little bit, break this down even more to have a smaller kindling for my, my fire when I start it. Anyway, I just want to make this video. And just mention that I got an axe, it's a cheap axe, but like I said, if you sharpen it yourself, it's totally fine. You don't have to spend $100 on an axe to have it, you know, function properly. Although in the future, I will probably end up getting a nicer axe anyway. But I have that, that symptom that seems to be going around lately, Funzalo. And once you get Funzalo, you're pretty limited on what you can buy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.